Hello everyone, right now you're watching an animation of a simple perfect squared square being made. The main idea is that we're trying to tile one large square with a bunch of smaller squares, all of which must have a different integer side length. This seems like a simple enough task, but it's deceptively hard. The simplest solution, shown here, requires 21 squares of different sizes and wasn't discovered until 1978. As a brief side tangent, one thing I enjoyed about making this animation was the coloring. Since this qualifies as a 2D plane divided into contiguous regions, the famous four color theorem applies here, meaning I only had to paint with four colors, and I could still make it so that no two adjacent squares shared a color. But returning to the topic of squared squares, the amazing YouTube channel Numberphile already made a YouTube video about squared squares in 2017, so why? Why am I revisiting it here? Well, I was searching through my old hard drives when I found this half-finished audio file from 2011 where I contemplated a variation of this exact math problem. Let's listen to what my younger self had to say. You might think this sounds pretty easy, but it's not. It actually takes a minimum of 21 smaller squares to make a bigger square. Of course, there are actually an infinite number of ways to do this. So that's fun and all, but this video is about cubes, not squares. So a cube dissection is obviously a cube divided into smaller cubes, all of which are different sizes. But it turns out that this can't possibly exist. You might be wondering why can't there be a perfect cube dissection if there can be perfect square dissections because a cube and a square are kind of the same thing. Well, they're not. That's all past me had to say about this problem, a measly 28 seconds. I probably got busy with homework after that or something. Before I get into the proof for why no cubed cubes exist, I want to first point out that even this mock-up is faulty, because 1. Cubes of the same integer size show up all over the place, but 2. The squares on the edge don't even line up with each other like cubes should. But of course, the fact that this mock-up fails doesn't prove that all attempts to create a cubed cube will fail. For that proof, we have to generalize. But now, it's time for me to be brutally honest. Another reason I'm making this video is because I wanted to get something new out before VidCon 2022, which is starting in less than 24 hours. It's nighttime, so that's also why I'm talking so quietly. Basically, I don't have time to finish this proof before the convention starts, so this introduction to the problem is all I can muster for now. If you're also coming to VidCon and you see me around, don't be scared to say hi, I can't wait to meet you. Anyway, thank you for watching this video and goodbye. I'll just let the squared square animation run in the background to the end.